astounding diversity of religions, languages and cultures is unique and unparalleled. The mighty Himalayas flying high all above the sky and varied cultures, traditions with many advanced developments in science and technology has made our country an incredible land. For thousands of years, people of different religions have coexisted with utmost faith in the integrity of our country. So friends, I am Nidhi and in today's episode of My India, I will show you some of the most compelling and fascinating stories from across the large geographical boundaries of our country. Heritage is the link to the past and it is necessary to preserve the past so as to save the future. This increases the importance of museum in today's world which is a representative of nation's rich culture and heritage. Thus, to highlight the role of museums in enriching society, promoting cultural exchange and mutual understanding among people, every year International Museum Day is celebrated across the world. Recently, the Himachal Pradesh state of India observed its celebration with lot of zeal and enthusiasm. Have a look. As India is known for its extraordinary, vast and diverse pool of cultural heritage, museums play a major role in its preservation. Recently, to showcase their importance, State Museum of Shimla in Himachal Pradesh celebrated International Museum Day. The State Museum is housed in an old Victorian mansion, carefully altered to adapt it to the museum with the aim to preserve state's rich culture and archaeological artifacts. From rare sculptures and beautiful paintings to old coins, exquisite handicrafts and Pahari miniatures, the museum has a lot on display. Recently, Indian Army Gallery was also introduced in the museum which displays photos of several Indian martyrs, weapons used in war, sculpture of several field marshals and much more. राष्ट्रीय जो संग्रहालय दिवस जो मनाना है मनाना है इस तरह के सेलिब्रेशन जो मनाने का जो मूल उद्देश्य है वो कि आजकल की जो हमारी जो पीढ़ी है वो अपनी जो समृद्ध सांस्कृतिक दौर है अपने जो रीति रिवाज है अपने जो कस्टम्स है उससे दूर होते जा रही है तो संग्रहालयों का ये प्रयास रहता है कि जो अपनी आजकल की जो इंटरनेट जनरेशन है जिसको उसको अपनी जो पुरातात्विक समृद्ध सांस्कृतिक धरोहर की ओर आकर्षित करना है क्योंकि जो हमारी सांस्कृतिक धरोहर है ये हमें मिली है अपने अनसेस्टर से एक धरोहर के रूप में और इसको संरक्षित करना हमारा एक मॉरल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है और ताकि के आने वाले जो जनरेशन है उनको हम बता पाए कि ये किस तरह से हमारे बुजुर्गों ने और किस तरह के आर्ट हिस्ट्री कल्चर डेवलपमेंट रिलीजन और सोशल लाइफ उस टाइम में कितना डेवलप था और इसमें किस तरह के चेंजेस आए हैं पैसे जब आए The folk dance and music reflecting the Himachali culture served as the major attraction for the visitors during the event. Their love for the traditions and culture and the efforts that they are putting to preserve it was greatly reflected in their performance. हमारे गुरु वी एन सरेख जी बोलते हैं कि कल्चर इरिगेट्स द रूट्स ऑफ द नेशन संस्कृति राष्ट्र की जड़ों को सींचती है और यही बात हमने पाई है हम चाहे यहाँ हैं परफॉर्म हिमाचल में कर रहे हो राजस्थान में कर रहे हो पंजाब में कर रहे हो चाहे हिंदुस्तान के बाहर भी कई कंट्रीज में जाने का मौका मिला हमें हमारी पहचान ही हमारी संस्कृति है हमारे लोकगीत लोक गाथाएँ जो कि आदि काल से हम चले आए हैं और बुजुर्गों के माध्यम से हमें ये विरासत में मिली है आज भी हमें अपनी पुरातन संस्कृति का बोध करवाती है ये हमारी फोक है मतलब ट्रेडिशनल ट्रेडिशनल डांस डांसेज है और ये हमें विरासत में मिली है और हम चाहते हैं कि इसे हम आगे से आगे बढ़ाते जाएं अपना कल्चर ना भूलें इसलिए है हम अपने पुराने गीत डांस ये सब प्रस्तुत करते हैं आज ये जो संग्रहालय दिवस जो भी है इंटरनेशनल जो भी है इस पे हम प्रस्तुत किए हैं यहाँ पे Along with cultural performances, several other competitions such as declamation, quiz contest and much more were also held. 
Visitors were greatly enjoying the performances during the event and were capturing this auspicious moment in their cell phones. They were really inspired by the Himachali culture and appreciated it wholeheartedly. It was really very really wonderful. Um, their dance is very beautiful, their clothes are very beautiful, their culture is very good, their food is also very good. So, uh, Himachal Pradesh's dance and the country's dance is very fun. It's a very good experience. I mean, their dance is that we have our culture, but we are from Assam, we belong to Assam. So, mostly dressing, a little bit of a type, it's very good. It's very colorful and in the museum, it's very good. The event beside highlighting the role of museum in the development of society gave visitors a clear glimpse into the rich art, culture and traditions of Himachal Pradesh. The Valley of Kashmir is well known for being the peer wear, meaning the alcove of Sufis and saints. It is hard to locate a village in the whole valley where there is not a Sufi shrine or any relic associated with the Sufi saints. These saints throughout their life worked for the welfare of the society and are thus respected by each and every community. So today we take you to the shrine of one such Sufi saint whose existence is itself an example of communal harmony. Situated in the Thane Mandi Tehsil of Rajori district in Jammu and Kashmir, Shahadra Sharif stands as the most revered shrine of the state, dedicated to Baba Gulam Shah Badshah. Every year, irrespective of their caste, creed and religion, thousands of people throng this 19th century shrine and pay their obeisance, thus spreading the message of peace and brotherhood. जो आप देख रहे हैं यहाँ पे बाबा गुलाम शाह बच्चा इस जारत है बहुत ही मानी हुई है यहाँ पे हर धर्म के लोग यहाँ पे आते हैं जैसा कि आप देख रहे होंगे कोई मजहब की पाबंदी नहीं है यहाँ पे हर किस्म के बीमार लोग परेशान लोग यहाँ पे आते हैं हमारे पुंछ में जोरी में सबसे फेमस जारत जो है यही है जैसे कि आप दिल्ली से देख सकते हो, पंजाब से देख सकते हो, हर जगह से हर मज़बूत के लोग यहाँ पे आते हैं। The unique fact about this shrine of Muslim saint is that it was constructed by a Hindu ruler, Maharaja Gulab Singh, who was once the army general of Maharaja Ranjit Singh of Punjab. So there's an interesting story behind the construction of this shrine. As per the historical sources, in 1820 A.D., when Gulab Singh was campaigning at Thane Mandi. He came to know about Baba Gulam Shah Badshah and went to meet him. Baba just looked at him and smiled. Singh became curious and asked him why did he smile. To this Baba said he was smiling at his prosperous future and few years later the prediction actually came out to be true. In order to express his gratitude, Gulab Singh again went to the scene. However, they couldn't meet as Baba had left for the holy abode by the time Singh reached. Thus, as a mark of his gratitude towards the saint, he got the shrine Shahadra Sharif constructed. Even today, devotees of every faith visit this shrine to pay respect to the holy saint. They also tie a holy thread at the shrine with the belief that saint will fulfill their wishes. दरबार अल्लाह के वली बरगजीदा बंदे का दरबार है यहाँ पे बगैर मजबूत मिलत के बगैर नीच ऊंच के सब के लिए बराबरी है और जो यहाँ जो नियत ले कर आता है उसकी नियत भर जाती है बेलादों को औलाद मिलती है बेरोजगारों को रोजगार महिया होती है बेमारों को शफा मिलती है और यहाँ पे जो भी दिल में तमन्ना करके आते हैं वो पूरी होती है। यहाँ का लंगर जो आपने देखा है यहाँ के लंगर में बराबरी का इम्तियाज है। यहाँ पे छोटे बड़े की कोई वो नहीं है। सब के लिए एक ही खाना बनता है, एक ही लंगर दिया जाता है क्योंकि ये दरबार है, बुलामशा बाशा है। और इसमें जो लोग ये सब लोग जो हैं यहाँ से मुस्तफिद होके जा रहे हैं, आ रहे हैं, ये तांता 
The shrine is constructed in a Kashmiri style with its exterior decorated of Multani architecture and thus gives a very beautiful and auspicious look. In the late 20th century, the slope that leads to the shrine was embellished with Mughal style architecture. Near the shrine, one can also get to witness Sadabahar, a famous tree that bears fruit all throughout the year. It is believed that the fruits here do not decompose with age and can be stored for longer periods without refrigeration. यहाँ पर कोई बिना किसी मजबो मिलत हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हर मजहब के लोग जो हैं वो हर रोज यहाँ पर हजारों की तादाद में आते हैं रियासत और बैरून रियासत यहाँ पर इवन मैं ये भी कहूँगा कि हमारे मुल्क के बाहर से भी दूसरे ममालिक से लोग जो हैं यहाँ पर आते हैं और जो अपनी तमन्ना लेकर के यहाँ पर आते हैं अल्लाह ताला इस वली के वसीले से इसकी जो दुआ है दुआएं हैं उनके वसीले से अल्लाह ताला सब की मराद को जो है वो कबूल करता है अच्छी जहरत है यहाँ पे यहाँ पे हर मजहब के आते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हर इंसान यहाँ पे आते हैं और हर इंसान की यहाँ पे दुआ कबूल होती है हर इंसान यहाँ पे हर इंसान की मन्नत पूरी होती है हर इंसान के दुख दर्द दूर होते हैं The shrine holds great significance to the people of all religious communities and is thus revered for its age-old tradition and history. Every year, Urs of Hazrat Gulam Shah Badshah is also celebrated on the 10th of Muharram, which is thronged by people from all across the world. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. The government of India proposed widening the scope of its aviation regional connectivity scheme by including more unserved routes in the program. In April, the government launched the regional connectivity scheme to make air travel more affordable and get more people flying. Under the scheme, the government has kept fares and is offering incentives to attract airlines to fly to less traversed routes. The ministry is also considering allowing operators to bid for routes between two places separated by less than 150 km. The idea is by uh, in the month of August we should be in a position to award the second round. Broadly that is the timeline. The Government of India approved policy to boost local defence manufacturing under Make in India initiative by picking industry champions that would tie up with foreign players and make high-tech defence equipment. Under the strategic partnership model, the government will shortlist and then pick Indian companies to join forces with foreign firms to supply fighter jets, helicopters, armoured vehicles and submarines. A bidding model हर क्षेत्र में हर प्लेटफॉर्म के लिए एक प्राइवेट सेक्टर स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनर चुना जाएगा तो ये जो 11 सेक्टर्स प्रायर अप्रूवल के बचे हैं इन 11 के साथ जो उसका उपयुक्त मंत्री विभाग है उसको उसमें जोड़ दिया गया और इसका जो भी स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर रहेगा ये प्रस्तावना मंत्रिपरिषद के सामने आई थी जिसको कि आज स्वीकार किया गया है Prime Minister Narendra Modi said Africa was top priority for India's foreign and economic policy. PM Modi made the comments at the annual meeting of African Development Bank in Gandhinagar city. The Prime Minister said Africa and India shared similar obstacles in growth and called for greater cooperation between the two. India and Africa are home to 7 in 10 of the world's poor but are among the fastest growing economies. Many of the challenges we face are the same. Uplifting our farmers and the poor, empowering women, ensuring our rural communities have access to finance, building infrastructure. We have to do this within financial constraints. 
The state of Himachal Pradesh has got its biggest solar power plant which will generate 4 lakh unit of electricity in one year. Built at a whooping cost of 3 lakh 8,000 USD, the 230 kV solar plant has been set up in the short span of three months by Satlaj Jal Vidyut Nigam Limited. The solar plant will cater to the internal needs of the SJV Anil, thus significantly reducing their dependence on power department for electricity. Today in our section of Asia Buzz, we will see how Japan is taking huge strides in order to enhance the communication technology. Recently, Japan's entity communication has outfitted the new submarine cable laying vessel Kizuna to strengthen its underwater cable laying and maintenance capabilities. Have a look. The internet connects people and things around the world. Optical cables placed along the ocean floor provide more than 99% of international communications. Together with NDD Group companies, NDD Communications had recently outfitted a new submarine cable laying vessel, Kizuna, to strengthen its underwater cable laying and maintenance capabilities. The Kizuna prides itself with a capability to enable easy maneuvering and stable fixed point positioning in the ocean using dynamic positioning system. Its advanced design comprises two azimuth propellers and an electric propulsion system to allow lateral movement and the capability to turn in a small radius. Remotely operated vehicle equipped with a jet cable laying system and with a maximum operating tap of 2,500 meter allows rapid laying and maintenance of undersea cables. The capabilities of the cable laying vessel gain attention as it can perform different tasks on the ocean, particularly when the unprecedented earthquake struck Japan in March 2011. Kizuna is the first submarine cable laying vessel equipped for the dual purpose of serving as a disaster relief ship in the case of major natural disasters. Kizuna has been designed to assist during disaster recovery operations, for example, through the rapid shipment of containers and other supplies. The vessel can also transport disaster recovery vehicles and emergency cellular network base stations, as well as satellite communication facilities and temporary accommodation for employees working in disaster zones. このように私たちは災害に強い信頼できる通信ケーブルの構築、運用を行うべく、日々訓練を重ねています。そして、日本の世界のつながりを守り、安心を運び、世界の絆を守っていきたいです。Ayoma Times and Images Museum, a unique clock museum, has opened in Ayoma, Tokyo. この美術館はとにかく美しいもの、珍しいもの、面白いもの。この三つをですね、主にしてですね、いろいろ集めたものです。壊れたものですね、私あの修復したりなんかしてですね、ここに展示してます。これはですね。観覧車が上にありましてですね、あの非常に珍しいあの時計です。これ1930年代に作られたドイツのものです。時計としてあのパワーを要するんでですね、かなり強いバネが入ってましてですね、普通の時計とはちょっと違う機構になっています。ディエ
Kala Buragi, also known as Gulbarga in Karnataka, is famous for a temple which is of the Hindu deity Ram or the famous Gulbarga fort built somewhere around the year 1327. But what you didn't know will be about the Bali Savitri temple of the Hindus and the Hazrat Bangadi Sharif Dargah of the Muslims which are located in the same compound and share the great story of communal harmony and the religious brotherhood in the country. Muslim people, Hindu people, they have their own religion. 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 Both Hindus and Muslim devotees here believe that the compound has magical powers and miracles have happened in the past, and wishes have always been fulfilled. हमारे मुरादों को पूरा फरमाएंगा, बस इतना ही कि सरकार का कलम बहुत बड़ा है, जो भी मन्नत मांगते हैं पूरी होती है सरकार से। ये देखो साथ में काश नहीं देखा जाता, हिंदू मुस्लिम भाई भाई हैं यहाँ पे, वैसा कागर काश नहीं रहता, हिंदू मुस्लिम भ हमारे इसमें सही ये नहीं है कि हमारे काश के भी लोग आते हैं ये सरकार का कर्म है ये सरकार का बड़ा फायदा है यहाँ पे इससे हिंदू भी फायदा पाते हैं मुस्लिम भी फायदा पाते हैं People believe in both temple and darga. Hindu and Muslims live together in peace and share a great example of communal harmony. Adventure sports enthusiasts are thronging to Nenital in Uttarakhand to explore the paragliding and zobbing activities. It has also given boost to the tourism sector. A report. One of the best things about Uttarakhand, popularly known as the land of gods, is the wide variety of geological conditions and climate that the state offers. From the beautiful Himalayan mountains to the meadows and evergreen forests of Chopta, which is popularly known as Switzerland of India, few states in India can boast of such variety. It's not surprising that Uttarakhand is a pretty good destination for adventure sports enthusiasts. Taking a cue, adventure sports lovers recently flocked to Nanital as activities like paragliding and zobbing were thrown open to the public. However, it is water zobbing in Bintal that has become the center of attraction for many. A participant is secured inside an inner capsule in a large transparent ball which is then floated on a water body where the person moves his or her hands and legs randomly. Bhimdal, which is located in Nenital, is a popular tourist destination in India, has reported an increase in the tourist footfall since water zobbing was introduced. बहुत एंजॉय किया हम तीनों ने बहुत अच्छे से इसको किया कभी कभी जब टीम वर्क थोड़ा सा हो जा रहा था तो थोड़ा सा रोल हो जा रहा था पर उस वैसे तो इसमें बहुत मजा आ रहा था और और ऐसे करने पे थोड़ा सा एक्सरसाइज भी हो जाता था तो पानी पे चल रहे थे अच्छा लग रहा था बहुत हाँ और मजा आता है कि आपको बाहर जाने का मन ही नहीं करेगा The summer months of April, May and June attract thousands of tourists from across India to Nanital every year. The tourist season also opens up many opportunities for the local businessmen to rake in good business. बहुत positive response है, बहुत ज़्यादा tourist आ रहा है। जब से jogging start की है, ये kayaking start की है, तो काफी अच्छा response मिल रहा है। Last year से हमने start किया, इस साल कुछ balls वगैरह हमने बढ़ाई है, jogging भी और roller भी, तो काफी tourist है, बहुत अच्छा tourist enjoy कर रहा है, बहुत अच्छा response हम लोगों को मिल रहा है। किस तरह का मतलब टूरिस्ट किस तरह से एंजॉय करते हैं बॉल्स के अंदर बेसिकली टूरिस्ट बेसिकली जो बॉल्स हैं बॉल्स के अंदर हम टूरिस्ट को डाल देते हैं उसके अंदर वो फ्लोटिंग करता है उसको फील एकदम ठंडा सा होता है बिल्कुल वाटर लेवल के ऊपर तो बहुत अच्छा उसको लगता है काफ़ी देर तक इन्जॉय करता है उसके अलावा रोलर है रोलर के ऊपर बच्चे चलते हैं उसे रोल करते हैं नीचे वाटर फ्लो होता है तो उन लोगों को काफ़ी अच्छा लगता है मुझे उन एक तरीके से नया एक्सपीरियंस है इस जगह यहाँ पर कहीं पर भी जो है लास्ट ईयर से ही हम लोगों ने स्टार्ट किया बाकी कहीं पर होता भी नहीं है तो बहुत अच्छा रिस्पॉन्स हमको हम लोगों को मिल रहा है the northern state of Uttarakhand is promoting summer tourism to attract more tourists and give them a chance to explore adventurous sports activities. Nanital is popular for boat rides in its picturesque lakes and serene water bodies. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at ani.com. 
Now signing off with a glimpse at summer festival that recently kicked off at Saputara, the only hill station in Gujarat and gave respite to the people from high summer heat and humidity. I'm your host Nidhi and it's goodbye from the entire production team.